Hello, welcome to this more video tutorial how to flash, uh, uh, for example, a D4R2 of Parsky uh, receiver with the 27 millimeter millisecond um, firmware. So, well, and uh, the goal of this video is to uh, flash this Parsky with a conventional um, uh, FTDI USB to uh, solar converter. So well, so I will use uh, more or less the same uh, guide than the proposed by the um, Did Yourself Drones website. So these um, these are uh, web pages, and I will just show in this video how to proceed in concrete. So well, the first things is you need to have such kind of uh, a serial converter from uh, USB and I bought this one in, in Banggood for example so here the uh, the web pages so it's actually is very cheap it's something like uh, four dollars and uh, well it's a must-have you know so instead to buy the five sky wall models um, we can be we'll use probably use only once this one uh, use a standard one okay and um, because you will be able to use it for uh, another project so for example to make communications with gps and uh, i don't know bluetooth and so on so uh, it's a standard model and um, but uh, in order to flash the firmware into your fast receiver you need to make small uh, software modification in order to be um, compatible with this uh, receiver so the first thing to do is to install a driver of this module so you go to the uh, for example web pages um, of uh, FTGI and you will uh, see on these web pages you will be able to download the uh, the, uh, the corresponding driver for your machine so here will be a, a Windows machine and when it's done you will need a, a specific uh, software associated with the um, this uh, uh, serial converter uh, the name of this program is the FT Progs here okay so uh, you have to download uh, by clicking in this uh, uh, link there and when you download it and install it you will be able to now to modify the, um, the, the, uh, the necessary so um, one point also uh, my video will show to how to uh, update uh, without using any external back okay so I will just use uh, some basic wiring so uh, in fact uh, from the um, my fast car receiver I received uh, this cable there okay uh, with uh, four and four pint GST connector and I solder um, four uh, extensions uh, ending with a male connector uh, in the Arduino format so I cut some Dupont wire and make some soldering job and also I will use an external uh, small uh, female to female Dupont wire uh, in order to provide the VCC uh, from for the um, uh, Farsia receiver so uh, the first things uh, uh, when you will um, uh, install the FT progs is to uh, configure it so uh, you will plug your uh, adapter into your micro USB plug the USB into the your laptop okay and then you will have to run um, the software here FT prog okay and when you are you you run it you access to this uh, 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 panel and um, you have to go to the device uh, menu and uh, run uh, scan and parse okay so you will see the uh, FDDI uh, chip and go to uh, hardware specific then invert RS232 signal okay and you have to click it was already done but you have to click on invert and RxD okay so uh, initially it was unchecked but you have to check these two one when it's done you have to press here to program device okay and you will have this new uh, panel appearing and 
click on program and it's done immediately and as you can see is uh, re already ready so you can close your um, your software you can unplug USB if you want um, you can do it uh, with this model of DDI it's uh, associated with uh, 5 volts or 3.3 volt okay uh, I uh, it can work both in 5 volt or 3.3 volts is working also so don't worry about it so actually I'm in 5 volts okay now I will focus more on the um, on the uh, connections to the uh, receiver so I will use my uh, special cable and I will show you how to plug it so by default I was in CPPM mode so my jumper was uh, on the signal points of channels 3 and 4 to uh, enter in programming mode you have to put the jumper on the signal uh, points but now for channel 1 and 2 so you put there okay so now I will plug this uh, special wire okay so the ground is on the left okay and I will use uh, this uh, uh, if you can see uh, the nomenclature behind you can see that the black is the ground and uh, you will have the um, Eryx uh, starting with green and ending with blue so my Eryx is blue my TX is red okay and uh, my ground is black okay. so basically I will need to use this uh, small Dupont wire in order to power my uh, receiver okay and the three uh, other one uh, as Eric takes and ground so the first things to do I will uh, power uh, my receiver by putting this cable either on channel 3 or 4 but on the plus pines so I, okay I will say on the channel 3 there okay now it's connected and now I will uh, use uh, plug it to uh, my uh, FDDI okay so VCC is a pine 3 there so the, the brown is on VCC here now I will use the, 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 the ground okay and I will plug it on the ground okay don't plug it here it's not working okay even it is assumed to be connected but really select the ground pine there okay now um, I will uh, find the um, takes pine which is the uh, I will start to connect further Eryx which is the blue one okay and the blue uh, the Eryx uh, coming from the receiver I will plug it to the takes for the FDDI okay and the last job to do is to plug the um, takes from the receiver and plug it to the Eryx of the FDDI chip. Okay, so now it's plugged and I will power again uh, the set via the USB. And now I will use the uh, software provided by uh, FireSky on their website okay so and you have to download it I will put the link on the uh, information of this video and run the uh, associated software called FireSky underscore update underscore revision 11.exe so you run it okay so you select your port com here on the 10 click on files and select your um, firmware which ending with extension fair key you make to open and if it's okay if your wiring is co correct you will see this uh, uh, line uid okay with this set of number if you don't see it, it means that you are wrong with your connection with your uh, between your receiver and your DDI uh, module. So when it's done, you have to press download, and it's flashing. Okay, now my receiver is uh, flashed. 
Okay, so I will unplug my uh, my uh, setup and don't forget to um, reset your default FDDI uh, module because you if you you will always forget to one day that you inverted the um, the Eric takes uh, logical value so start again FT prog make scan and parse okay go to hardware specific invert RS232 and now unchecked invert text and RxD okay press here to program set program okay now your uh, FDDI uh, module is returned to normal okay so this is the end of this small uh, tutorial video thank you for watching if you like it please subscribe my channel bye bye